Hello everyone, and um, this is Sean, and I'm so pleased that you could uh, join me today. I'm going to uh, discuss you, with you my uh, experience in getting uh, the two shots of the uh, Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Now, as you're all aware, this uh, pandemic is uh, certainly uh, taking its toll upon uh, the uh, people of this uh, planet. Uh, people are afraid, people are scared, people are anxious, people are worried uh, for their future, their loved ones, their family, and um, more specifically, themselves. And um, yeah, it's uh, evoked a lot of uh, confusion as well. Um, a lot of people uh, starting to uh, really distrust our um, institutions uh, through government and uh, finance and uh, specifically the uh, health uh, sector um, there is a uh, greater mistrust amongst um, pharmaceutical companies who are uh, making these uh, vaccines um, there's a great percentage of uh, people in um, North America who um, are quite skeptical about these uh, about what these uh, vaccines can do to uh, one's body after uh, they've received uh, the injection. Well, uh, I'm here to tell you that um, I, uh, am, I do uh, fully support uh, vaccination efforts uh, being uh, led by our uh, government officials. Um, I have to admit I was uh, a vaccine uh, skeptic at the uh, start of this pandemic, but um, by the uh, time uh, after the time I got my uh, first dose, um, I was so impatient to get the uh, second shot that, um, yeah, I was a uh, true uh, believer in uh, science. So um, this is my story. Um, at the uh, start of this pandemic, um, you know, I have had a lot of uh, concerns, uh, a lot of uh, worries. Uh, like many of you, um, lots of confusion, I would say. Um, but um, like uh, everybody else, I uh, happily uh, follow the uh, rules of uh, social distancing, uh, wearing masks, um, you know, having the uh, means to uh, self isolate. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I had to do that uh, when uh, one of my relatives uh, got infected with the COVID. So, uh, yeah, I had to self-isolate for uh, a couple of days. Uh, but uh, I did uh, take the uh, COVID test at that time earlier this year. And um, yes, the uh, test result was negative. So I was very... Uh, fortunate in that regard so um yeah um uh, now one uh, has to wonder uh how uh, was it possible for uh these companies to uh manufacture um these uh, vaccines that within a year um normally it would take uh 10 years for um a vaccine to be approved by uh, the FDA um, or the, the CDC. Um, well, uh, governments came to realize that this uh, was a dire emergency. This uh, was a, a deadly, uh, serious uh, virus, a coronavirus, that uh, was uh, taking its uh, toll amongst uh, all of us. So um, they. Uh, thought uh, it was necessary for uh, the release of uh, these uh, miracle uh, drugs, I guess you could say. Well, not miracle drugs, but, um, you know, one uh, possible treatment for um, such uh, a uh, devastating um, plague. Uh, so... Um, you know, I uh, continue to uh, follow um, the social distancing, 
and uh, the uh, health lighting, health guides outlined by uh, our uh, provincial uh, authorities and uh, federal. And um, I uh, was patient enough for, until uh, for uh, the release of uh, these vaccines through Pfizer, uh, Moderna, um, AstraZeneca. Although at first, um, I would say when these uh, vaccines started to roll out in uh, April, May, well, March, April, um, in uh, the it, right here in uh, Ontario, uh, which uh, the province where I live, um, you know, unlike uh, the United States, where uh, it was more like a lottery system, um, the Canadian government wanted to make sure that uh, the oldest amongst the uh, population was uh, vaccine first. And, um, it was, it's a very, uh, it was a very gradual, uh, process. Uh, it started out, uh, around, I believe it in early March where, um, the, uh, oldest amongst the uh, population the, in Canada could get vaccinated first. Those like, uh, eight at the, uh, ages of 80 or above. And then uh, the government allowed uh, those to be around the age of 70 and above to get their shots. That was the time of April. And uh, it, was, it wasn't until May that um, the uh, provincial government here uh, opened up uh, vaccines to um, those uh, 40 and above. Uh, so individuals like myself. So, um, on May 7th this year, the uh, local health unit um, came to uh, the uh, place where I worked and um, they uh, offered uh, this uh, free health clinic to any employee who was uh, interested in uh, getting their uh, first shot. Um, I kind of, uh, hesitated at first, but, uh, I realized deep down because, uh, I was an essential worker and, uh, I was, uh, part of the, uh, collective whole and I wanted to, uh, protect myself against this, uh, ravishing disease. I thought it was the best thing for me to do. So, um, I signed up for that, um for uh, when the uh, health unit came to our place of work. And um, the nurse administered me a uh, shot, my, my first shot. And um, it came to my surprise that day, it was gonna be, a, it was Moderna. Now I have to admit, I really was hoping to get the uh, Pfizer vaccine because it, it was so common, so prevalent already. Um, amongst uh, Canadian stockpiles of vaccines. Um, at the time I got my uh, first shot, uh, Moderna was having uh, supply issues. Um, the uh, Canadian uh, Customs had difficulty in uh, welcoming um, more and more shots of Moderna. However, um, it's, it's not a problem today at the uh, filming of this video. So, um, yeah. Now, um, because both Pfizer and uh, Moderna are both mRNA vaccines, one works well just as the other. They're much like Coke and Pepsi. So, yeah, I still um, happily uh, got the shot. And um, when... Uh, receiving it, I heard that uh, it could uh, take me up to, uh, it could take up to uh, 16 weeks to get my second shot. See, part of the uh, strategy uh, here in Canada was to um, allow um, as many people to get their first shots as possible.
before administering uh, second doses. Um, as of now, 77% um, of uh, the eligible Canadian population has been uh, vaccinated with their first dose, whereas uh, I believe 35% have received both doses. Um, yeah, so the Canadian government wanted to uh, make sure that the levels of immunity were re really spread out. So um, that way, everybody, uh, as many people uh, as possible could uh, have uh, their protection against COVID. And yeah, it, it was actually, a, I think it was actually a very uh, smart move against uh, our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Um, I think um, if there is going to be an election this fall, uh, he's going to uh, win a majority because of his efforts. Um, I don't think uh, any of the uh, leaders uh, in, uh, in the uh, opposition could have handled uh, masterminding uh, the uh, masterminding the uh, health efforts of our uh, during this pandemic so well. So um, yeah. No matter what uh, people say about uh, Justin, I think he's going to um, win the next election big time. So, um, yeah, so that's just my opinion. But um, when it came to um, me, when it came time for me to get my uh, second shot, um, I uh, had uh, the privilege of uh, having uh, my uh, appointment time accelerated. Uh, so it wasn't until um, last week um, that uh, I was able to get my uh, second dose. Um, now, it um, originally, I was, uh, at the time I got my uh, first shot, I would have, uh, expected to wait all the way until August or even September to get my second dose. But uh, due to uh, the large part of uh, our uh, Brigadier, Brigadier General, um, who's, uh, who's uh, leading the uh, vaccination uh, distribution effort, um, yes, General Krista, <laughs> I forget your last name, but um, I thank you so much, ma'am. I salute you for your efforts. Um, yeah, her efforts are definitely uh, paying off. And um, I think uh, she's worthy uh, to receive the Order of Canada. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I tend to give people so much praise. But um, they're heroes in their own right. And they deserve to be called heroes. And... Yeah. So anyway, when it came time for me to get my uh, second dose, um, I uh, only uh, had to wait, I would say, maybe seven, eight weeks. Yeah, it just, just cut my waiting time in half. And um, I was able to um, schedule my uh, second appointment through uh, our local health unit. But um, I had such that such a de such a determination to uh, get the vaccine that uh, I tried scheduling uh, earlier than um, what my uh, of when my second appointment would be. So um, I uh, was looking uh, over the internet, trying to uh, look for places to that carried. Uh, the uh, same uh, vaccine, Moderna. And um, before long, I uh, came across my uh, pharmacy, uh, the uh, shopping, uh, the grocery store I uh, like to shop at. It's called Metro. And uh, they do have a uh, pharmacy. And um, I was able to uh, sign up uh, through their waiting list with the uh, assistance of a very nice uh, 
physician, well, not a physician, but a uh, pharmacist. And um, I waited for only a few days. And uh, before long, I got the uh, email to uh, confirm my uh, second appointment. And um, I was able to do so successfully. And this was scheduled for a Friday. And I, during that uh, day, I uh, had to work an a afternoon shift. And I was able to uh, secure a uh, spot uh, in the morning, just a couple of hours uh, before uh, starting. And uh, yes, I was very th thankful for that. Now this uh, day comes along and um, I'm all ready, to, ready and eager to go to the appointment. And uh, I walk over to the pharmacy and uh, I meet, I meet um, a couple of others who are getting their shots. I met this one uh, very nice uh, gentleman. Uh, I uh, had a good conversation with him. He was uh, from Nova Scotia, Halifax, Nova Scotia, just like me. And uh, yeah, right there, there was instant rapport. Uh, we found uh, common ground. We were uh, both Haligonians and we were getting the, our second dose of the Moderna shot. So there, that uh, made my uh, appointment much uh, more merrier and uh, finally it was time for me to go in to the uh, office and uh, the nice uh, pharmacist uh, gave me the needle and uh, he made the inject injection into my deltoid and yeah I uh, hardly uh, felt the needle at all although um, I do have to admit uh, as the uh, day and evening progressed uh, while I was working, I was uh, feeling drowsy. And um, I told my uh, supervisor I wanted to take it very nice and slow. And she uh, agreed with me 100% uh, that uh, I should take it, uh, take it very nice and easy. And um, so it's can hear the thunder. <laughs> so after um, work, I went home. I could start to feel the um, pain in my arm. And um, my girlfriend uh, administered some uh, muscle relaxant lotion. And um, I went to bed. Now, I do have to admit, I ate a uh, pizza before um, hitting the lights out. And I had trouble sleeping. Um, I was tossing and turning throughout the night. Um, fortunately, I didn't uh, have to work at all that weekend. But um, on the, the next day, a Saturday, yeah, I started to uh, build up a fever. Um, my girlfriend told me, uh, I was feeling, felt much like a furnace <laughs> and, um, yeah, I didn't do it, anything at all. I just, uh, lied around the house, uh, just, um, browsing, uh, through my cell phone, watching YouTube videos. Um, yep. Yeah. And... This uh, pain in my uh, arm uh, persisted for a couple of days. So uh, it's going to take a, it When you do get your shot, if you haven't got it already, you'll feel that soreness in the arm for a couple of days. Um, yeah. Now, um, fortunately, those uh, were the extent of my uh, symptoms. They say that uh, when you get the... Uh, second dose, your uh, symptoms will be more severe. Fortunately, I'm okay, I'm fine. And um, if that's the uh, worst that I've suffered, then um, 
there are, I know that many others like me who have uh, received their vaccinations, they're fine. They're going to be okay. And um, yes, they, uh, they have made the right choice by uh, protecting themselves and uh, in turn pr protecting um, other uh, people. So, um, I uh, know this uh, may sound like a, a, a pitch, however, um, I do believe that um, the science uh, behind uh, the making of these uh, vaccines um, is uh, plausible. Uh, don't listen to uh, <clears throat> any of these anti-vaxxers who uh, believe that this is all a conspiracy that uh, this is a this has been masterminded by the Illuminati. No, this um, indeed is a uh, very uh, serious uh, situation. Um, it seems as if now um, we're starting to uh, see the uh, light of at the end of the tunnel here in uh, Canada, with um, restrictions lifting. Um, but it's very important to, that we all uh, do our part. Uh, Maintain the uh, social distancing, uh, wearing the masks, uh, doing our part in uh, slowing this and uh, crushing the spread of COVID-19. Um, yeah, I, we, we still have a long way to go uh, to um, eradicating this once and for all. So, um, yeah. Many people around the world uh, still need to be uh, vaccinated. Um, it could be, take until, well, until, until next year in 2022 that um, this planet reaches herd immunity. So, um, yes, I strongly uh, encourage uh, all of you who are watching this video who haven't done so to get vaccinated. Um, there's nothing to fear. Um, all you will uh, most likely uh, experience is just um, tingling, soreness, and perhaps uh, a fever. But um, if you do um, encounter very serious uh, symptoms, uh, yeah, go um, seek uh, medical treatment immediately. So, yep, and I do acknowledge that uh, with um, the AstraZeneca vaccine, um, there is the uh, very rare risk of uh, clots. Um, yeah, so no um, vaccine is um, perfectly safe. There is an element of risk, but I believe that uh, taking these uh, vaccines uh, is a far greater benefit than getting unvaccinated, um, where um, your chances of catching COVID are much greater. And yeah, so anyway, that's uh, my story. Um, yes, two shots of Moderna. Um, I could have uh, got one shot of Moderna and uh, the other with Pfizer. Uh, it could have perhaps uh, boosted my immunity system even further. However, I'm glad with the uh, I'm glad that um, I got both shots of Moderna, and um, whatever uh, vaccine is available to you, uh, please take it. Um, you know, even if it's AstraZeneca, you know, I have personal prejudices about um, that particular one, I have to admit, but uh, yeah, as I've mentioned, uh, the uh, chances of getting uh, blood clots are very rare. So, that that's my story. Um, I hope you found this uh, video to be uh, helpful. Please like, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. This is uh, Sean. I do uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Um, uh, stay vigilant. Um, be uh, sure to uh, 
adhere to uh, public uh, health uh, safety uh, recommendations and um, yes, right. Thank you so much. Peace.